Hi, this is William Cheer. This is the fifth development update video for Manifold Garden. Earlier this month, I traveled to LA for E3. Manifold Garden was being shown in the PlayStation 4 section in the Sony booth. It was a really exhausting three days, packed with meetings from start to finish. This year, the indie section in the Sony booth was a lot smaller than the one from last year, but it was full of really great games. I shared a stand with Night in the Woods, Abzu, and Thumper, all beautiful looking games with very distinct art styles. Manifold Garden got some really great press coverage from E3. The game was nominated by IGN as one of the best puzzle games at E3, and also got best of show badges from PlayStation Nation, 4 Players Network, and Level Camp. There were some really great write-ups about the game from Polygon, Game Revolution, PlayStation Universe, Famitsu, Factor News, and Digital Trends, amongst many others. It was also chosen by Northern Lion as one of his favorite games from E3. One of the highlights from E3 for me was that I finally got to meet Shuhei Yoshida, the president of Sony's Worldwide Studios for Sony Computer Entertainment. Shuhei actually came by to check out Manifold Garden on the show floor and had some really nice things to say about the game. After E3 ended on Thursday, I got on a flight to Indianapolis for Indie PopCon. I've been going to Indie PopCon for three years now, since the very first one. It's a pretty small convention and the crowd isn't very big. However, it does end up being quite useful for playtesting as I'll just let people play for as long as they want. Several people played the game for over an hour, and someone even played the game for about two hours. I think this shows that the beginning of the game is really strong. This year, there was once again the Reboot Award at Indie PopCon. Manifold Garden was a finalist this year, alongside Tumble Seed and Hive Jump. Unfortunately, just like last year, Manifold Garden got second place. Now I have two skateboards. In addition to the coverage from E3, Manifold Garden has been getting a ton of press. In the latest issue of Game Informer, there's a full-page preview of Manifold Garden on page 74. Also, Curbed featured an interview I did with architecture critic Alexandra Lang. It's one of my favorite interviews that I've done so far. In it, I talk about the different architectural inspirations for the game and how the works of Frank Lloyd Wright and Tadao Ando have influenced my approach to level design. I highly recommend checking it out. Manifold Garden was also featured on Mental Floss, which is pretty cool. With regards to development, Tom has started to work on a save system for the game. This is especially important now that we will be starting to beta test the game. What makes the save system challenging to implement is that the entire world of Manifold Garden is seamlessly connected and the objects can be transferred between levels and have multiple states. For example, you can take a box from World 1 and bring it to World 2. You can also direct the stream of water from World 3 into World 2, and then you can combine the box from World 1 and the stream from World 3 to grow a tree in World 2. Then, you can pick off a box from the tree you've just grown and bring that into World 4 to use it to solve a puzzle. So that's the kind of complexity we're dealing with. We're making progress though, one step at a time. Finally, I will be traveling to Taiwan on Wednesday to speak at the Taipei Game Developers Forum. My talk will be on the evolution of Manifold Garden's art style. June has been an incredibly busy month with a lot of travel. This upcoming trip to Taiwan will actually be my fourth trip this month alone. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to the event and will provide an update on that in the next video. As always, I'd love to hear what you think of these videos. Please feel free to leave your feedback in the comments below, and you can also ping me on Twitter or stop by one of my streams on Twitch. Until next time.